Hello everyone and today we will learn about how we can change the deployment token which gets generated while pushing our Azure static web app code on GitHub. Now if you are not aware about how to establish the connection between VS code and GitHub or say how to configure GitHub repo with Azure static web apps, I would recommend you to watch my previous video whose link I have already shared in my YouTube channel underneath the same video. So let's quickly navigate to the GitHub. <clears throat> so this is the GitHub, GitHub portal and uh, I'm going to the application which I have already deployed it. So these are all the files. And right now you can see that application is deployed successfully. Let's go to settings. And on the left hand side you can see the secrets. So this is the same secret or I would say this is the same deployment key which is used when we deployed it onto the Azure. So let's go back to the Azure portal and see how we can change it. So I will go to resource group. I will go to the resource group where this app is deployed. And here on the top you can see manage deployment token. I clicked on that. And here we have an option to reset the token. So as soon as we, we will reset it, the app which is in GitHub will not work against this token. So I will go ahead and reset it first. It will invalidate the existing token. Okay, token reset successfully. I will copy this and close this. Next thing I need to do is I have to go back to GitHub and update this token over here. paste it and update the secret well everything is up now let's quickly verify whether it is really up and things are working so i'm going to environments on the left hand side and i will click on the browse so we can see that app is still up and running and now we have done the deployment token update and everything the biggest question is why we are doing it. Do we really need to do this? Right. So usually changing the deployment token is not required that frequently until and unless our existing token is haggled or uh, another reason could be, let's say we are setting up our GitHub repository manually. So in case of manual setup, association between the Azure static web app can be done only by updating this deployment token. So these are the two main reasons why we need to change this deployment token. So that's all I have for today. We will come back next time with another great topic. Thank you.